One of the kids turned around and said to us before, if everybody keeps telling me I'm going to be bad, then I might as well be bad, regardless of the fact whether he was or not. We're given the opportunity to say that they're not. being bullied at my school and I was sent to a PIU because before I always used to take it out on other people because of, I thought that no one would listen to me and then no one would no one would like do anything about it but when I come here it just changed my life because all the people there that I could talk to and it just helped me a lot from there when I came to boxing I used to take my anger out on all the punch bags so it was just really good Box for Life is a way of getting kids to work together. You know, they play games together. They, you know, they look after one another. We try and do bits and pieces that your normal boxing club don't do. We're trying to build like a little family unit. When we started, we said that we wanted the family to be in the community, and that's what we wanted to recreate. That you get that when you come here. Box for Life was a community response. It followed the murder. The community decided something had to be done and we were going to have to be the ones to do it. We decided that um, we'd take it upon ourselves to set up something for the youth to get involved with and to sort of get back to the old ways of doing things, you know, where we all played together. So it started off quite, quite small and we, we realised there was a lot of support that the community wanted this, parents wanted this. And it's, it's simply grown steadily. The interaction was to try and get them off the streets and away from the gangs, and I think we managed that with quite a few of them. A lot of the kids that we've met since haven't gone into gangs. The thing about Box for Life is it's really growing quite fast. Uh, it's quite difficult for us to deal with it and get the funding and everything. Originally, we set up with um, home office funding through um, the Knives, Gangs and Gangs Initiative, and that was on a three-year programme. It is hard to get funding. It's getting very, very tight out there, but we're, we're trying and we invite people down to see what we're all about, and once they see it, they're hooked. This has got bigger than it ever could have planned. It's by giving these people um, the power to carry on running these organisations that we're going to take these kids from these environments and we're going to put them in, in a place where they feel they can express themselves. Most of these kids probably won't go on to be boxers, but the whole point of them coming through here is to express themselves. It's through the process of expressing yourself that you find a voice. Mark and myself saw Ben Drew's TEDx lecture and we were absolutely struck by it in a really quite a, a profound way. Everything he said touched a nerve everywhere in my body. And it was like, this is exactly what the problems that we're dealing with. We were just delighted to get an approach from each one to each one. Coming here and having this sort of fixture in their lives, um, where they can meet up and talk to adults like, you know, family, distant family members, uh, it makes such a big difference. Each one to each one, and especially talking to Ben, um, is very, very close to what we want to try and achieve. The relationship with him is really inspiring and important for us, because it, 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 it makes us realise we're part of a movement. There are a lot of people doing things like this. Um, they're all quite different. Ours is different. Um, but we're all after the same thing, which is the mental health of adolescents. I got in a bit of trouble, and then my dad like carried me something. I went to leisure centre. That's when I realised that I came for boxing. So I thought, oh, yeah, boxing now. This is kind of a new way to use my energies. But they, they, they did more than just boxing. I was, I was getting values and morals from coming here. From then on, I just carried on coming. 
They put me on the course and um, I went through the, the qualifications. I was like, yeah, I got my boxing qualification. Yeah, let's do this. It gives me a low profile, so like I'm not always running around in the street getting up to stupid stuff. Changed my life and I want to take it a little bit further and head for the Olympics. If I would have come and learned how to box like earlier, like when I was a kid at school, I, I don't think I would have been as aggressive as, as I was with Box for Life. Like I'm literally right at the start. I figured it was something that, that I needed to, to get involved in, something I needed to support. I really love what we're doing. It's, it's such an inspiration. Every, every, whatever I do in work, however bad week I ever have, when I come in here and I interact with the kids, I go out, I go out with a smile on my face. I enjoy myself so much. They helped me when I went through bad stuff. They was there for me when I needed them. It's so much easier to pick up ways of behaving that are going to take them down the wrong pathway, and it's often quite easy to correct it when they're young. We're doing the boxing here, but we're also extending it out to other aspects of learning. It keeps me like, yeah, these people are working with me, so let me work with them. I knew there was people that I could talk to. I was really happy. It's opening doors, it's definitely opening doors for me and it'll open doors for anyone who anyone new who wants to come. They could uh, you know, better themselves, benefit from it in, in many ways, many, many ways.